guys welcome back for another video so i'm gonna just get right into it forget the whole spiel deal all that good stuff so if you watched my previous video If you watched my previous video, I did have my faux locks in, well, my goddess locks with the curly end. Um, those only lasted like three days because they started unraveling. We're not going to get into it. Anyway, so I still wanted my hair done. So what I did was take those parts and I just did box braids. Since the parts were crazy big, like, oh, well, not that one. They were like this big all around. A lot of the parts I just split in half, like this one that I have already separated. Yeah, like this one that I already have separated into two pieces to make it two instead of the big gigantic one. So what I will be doing is the, tuck that down in there. I'll be doing the rubber band method. I think it's a lot easier and I mean, I've done these ones and it's honestly not like any pressure on my head so it's amazing so take your regular regular rubber bands and we're going to take our comb all right and then we're also going to take our gel so i generally take two rubber bands just because if one pops so just take your rubber band after you had that part and you're just going to put a rubber band on it pause for a cause I'm going to put some gel on it first because this is my edge my edge this is a, my edges I'm just going to wrap that around. And then I separate it and just squeeze down a little bit. And then I take my comb and recomb it just to make sure that we're all good. And I'll do the same thing for this part. Got our two sections going. And then I did already, this was one big braid, like I said, so I just took that braid down. So I'm just gonna take that same strand that I took down. Ain't no point in just wasting hair. It's about a finger. Yeah, it's about a finger. And then the pack of hair I got, it was already pre-stretched so I can save myself probably 30 minutes altogether. But I just take it and then wrap it kind of like you just regularly braid and then have a nice tight grip. Oh no, you can see the rubber band. I don't like that. Oh, we're gonna try this one more time. I think doing this method, that's the only hardest part is trying to cover up the rubber band. Cause it's like, if you set the rubber band in a weird spot, you gotta like cover it up in a weird spot. Okay. 
the inner rubber band is covered. So after that, this is just like in my way. Took that off in the boonies. So after that, just go ahead and start braiding. When we get to this part, like I'm about to run out of here, I take my jam. And then I just jam it on up. Make it real slick. Alright. So as you can see, I wrapped it. And then I will part this part off and then wrap that with that as well, okay? So you're just taking the hair to make it that third piece and then just keep braiding. All right, and then as I get closer to that end, see right here, that's my hair, it's about to end. I take some more gel so that that bond is together and I put it on the weave, well the braiding hair and my hair so that it's all together and then i do kind of get a closer grip so like my grip gets way tighter when i come in so i can blend it mm -hmm. and boom like you see how it's tucked other than that one part but i i still have to like go in and cut it and then just braid it all the way down. for this one so I'm actually just gonna gel it before I even do it make sure I really get the ends the top you don't really have to care about I mean, I do put gel like at the rubber band just so we can get those flyaways, but other than that, I mean, you won't really have to worry about those. So, I'm going to take this much. It's about my finger. I'm trying to figure out what way inside I want to break this. You can braid it out of my face. Right, so you're going to wrap it around and then start braiding. See how you can't see the rubber band? Then I'm about to run out of here. So I'm gonna take this piece from this part and then just wrap it so it goes with this part. And then just keep braiding. Then I'm gonna take some more gel. And put it all together. My hair actually ended right here. So that's why like I got incredibly, incredibly tight. So I can tuck that last piece of hair in. 
and then just braid all the way down. All right, just because I have you guys and so I don't forget, I am going to show you guys which hair I used. It's my first time using it and I honestly love it. I normally get free tris, free trees, whatever, but I would have ran out of packs and they didn't have any more they only have four and I think I would have needed like seven and they didn't have any in the back so I just took a chance with this and it actually worked so it is the African collection three times Rua is pre-stretched spray this one it's color 350 so it's this copper type feel and then it is the hot water setting. So obviously I did use the hot water. Oh, it's expressions. Oh, I love expressions. I just can't read. I'm sorry, guys. Expression, no, I really like expression hair. So yeah, it's this little homie girl. So yeah, that is the hair I used. There's the color. It was only $5.99. So $5.99 for, I got four packs. So 20 bucks, 20 bucks hairstyle. I think that's all right with me 20 bucks hairstyle and then if you need to buy edge control or if you need to buy rubber bands probably 25 depending on where you go but yeah I mean it came three in the pack so it worked for me all right you guys so I did hot water the ends that's what it looked like And then what I am going to do now is just take some mousse just so they last so they can loosen up just a little bit. Not that they're crazy tight, but some of my rubber bands are a little tight just because that's me. So the mousse I'm going to use is the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair wave lip curling mousse. You can honestly use any mousse that you want to. It really doesn't matter. And then because I already did this last night to the other ones. Well, to pretty much all of them. I'm just going to do it to these ones. Alright. So I'm going to get the root. Just going to get my root. Get the edges. that and then I will attempt to do my edges y'all yup yup I ain't even plan on doing it so give me one quick second Alrighty, so got my handy dandy little toothbrush and then I'm going to be using the Crystal Eco Styler. Like that's a lot.
at me, y'all. I'm learning and learning. All right. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you are new, go ahead and just scroll down. Don't pause the video. Just scroll down, hit that like button, and then hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so, so much for the support and the love. And then I will catch you guys on another video. All right. Peace.